our Father in heaven, touch our hearts and teach our minds to pray more to our God who hears and always answers our prayers. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. John was walking down Market Street in San Francisco in 1896. He was selling God's books. And as he was walking along, a stranger came up to him and said, why don't you take your books up to Little Apple Valley on the other side of Sacramento? I've never heard of Apple Valley. The stranger said goodbye and disappeared. wonder why he knew that I sold God's books and sold Bibles. How did he know? I don't know, but I feel like I should go someday. Well, the months came and went, and one day John couldn't get out of his mind. He said, tomorrow I'm going to go to Little Apple Valley. So he got his books and Bibles all ready to go, and early in the morning he went out and he got on the train, and he rode all the way up to San Francisco. When he got there, he had talked to this man, and the man had some horses, and he was able to ride horses out toward Apple Valley. But they didn't go all the way, so he had to walk part of the way. And he was walking along and walking along. He'd come up the hill, and he looked down the hill. And there was Little Apple Valley. But there was a river down there, and he didn't see any bridge going across the river. And he was wondering what he was going to do. And he was coming closer and closer, and then he noticed. He noticed a man with a rowboat. And he called to the man, hey, would you give me a ride across the river? Well, sure, sure. He said, how much you charge me? He said, well, I'll do it for a dollar. Mm. That was a lot of money back then. But he hoped to sell some books over there. And he thought it'd be all right. So he got down there and got in the boat and sat down there. And he was talking to the boatman. And when he was talking, he pulled out a silver dollar. It was a brand new 1896 and on the back, it had a scratch on the eagle. When he got over there, he gave it to the boatman. And the boatman told him, he said, Now, what I want you to do, I want you to stop at that little house on the hill up there. Okay. Well, John was going to stop at all the houses anyway. And as he come close to the house, he started up the hill. And he noticed the door open. And three children come running down the hill. Did you bring our Bibles? Did you bring our Bibles? John said, what do you mean, bring your Bibles? How do you know I sell Bibles? And they got up to, thank you. They got up to the door of the house, and mother standing there at the door, leaning against the side of the door. And she heard the kids, and she said, yeah, we've been praying for a Bible for a long, long time. And today we prayed again, and after we prayed, I felt like God had answered our prayer. I just had that feeling. And he said, go look outside. So I went outside, and I looked and I looked and, and there, there was a silver dollar. I couldn't believe it. She said, sir, do you have a Bible for sale for a dollar? He said, actually, I do. He reached in his briefcase and he pulled out a brand new Bible. He handed it to mother and mother took the Bible and gave him a silver dollar. And he looked at that dollar. It had a scratch on the eagle's wing. And the date was 1896. Is there something wrong with that dollar? Uh, no. Yes. Where did you get this dollar? I, I just found it on the ground right there. Man, this is the same dollar I give to the boat man. How did you get it? I found it on... God must have put it there for you. God must have answered your prayer. Boys and girls, mom and dad, God does answer prayer. And I want you to remember that all the time because it's so very important. I asked a praying mother to come say our prayer this morning for us. So let's close our eyes and we're going to pray. We bow our heads and we put our hands together. Let me see. All right. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you that we can pray to you every day and tell you when we're happy and when we're sad and when we're angry. And thank you that we can all communicate with you through prayer. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right.
go back to mommies and daddies. Whisper a prayer in the morning. God has prayer at noon. God has prayer in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. God answers prayer in the morning. 